Admitting, acknowledging, and attempting to understand this homegrown homophobia is a first step towards addressing the problem at the local level. Uh, our mistake is to assume that uh, homosexuality uh, was uh, imported or that colonization has institutionalized homophobia. Although the laws and policy that criminalize, uh, um, criminalize and discriminate against same-sex practicing persons uh, came from colonization, it is just one way to express homophobia. Well, another uh, setback uh, for the LGBT and the MSM movement in Africa is funding. Uh, the cumbersome funding, cumbersome funding applications and the forever changing climate of funding, as well as the funding priorities uh, of uh, funders and the lack of government funding scheme for MSM work at country level has been one of the major obstacles to the growth and interventions of, MSM, of the MSM movement on the continent. For example, uh, we have seen some funders who have spent considerable amount of monies uh, on meetings which we thought was of no importance to the movement uh, when most groups can barely raise $10,000 for their activities. Uh, MSM activists and staff of MSM organizations on most of the continent work as volunteers with very little or no salary at all, no health insurance, and other benefits as enjoyed in other parts of the world. Uh, in, in other parts of the world by people with similar, if not less, workload and more unproductivity. This point is even more important as gay activists are often from very uh, dis uh, economically disenfranchised background. And uh, one of the things that kind of resonated in, uh, in my head when I was thinking about this point is the death of one uh, uh, activist, uh, George Kanuma, whom many of you know here. George Kanuma uh, died of an, a, 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 a malaria complication. And George Kanuma's situation could have been uh, avoided had he had money on time or health insurance to have gone to maybe Kenya and have sought attention. But this didn't happen because George um, was working as a volunteer for uh, Emerson in this country. MSM and LGBT organizations often do not enjoy, and this is one of the most important part, they often do not enjoy the international, regional, and even uh, national support and solidarity that other uh, organizations do on the continent. And uh, this plays an immense role when they have to carry their own activities. And it also plays an immense role when they have to uh, decide on who to partner with and how to partner in order to uh, meet the different goals that they had set for themselves. And we have seen this, uh, uh, this, uh, this difference in, uh, in the way they partner usually in countries. And sometimes they have been used and sometimes they have been made to say things that they didn't want to say because they didn't have power in the relationship. While this kind of support is needed and determining for MSM organizations and individuals uh, in crisis, because most of the support that MSM and LGBT organizations on the continent have been receiving, it is support in times of crisis. There is no support when organizations want to put on programs uh, to provide services for uh, MSM in the countries. There is no support when they want to put on uh, a sensibilization program on human rights, for example. But when there is arrest in countries, everybody come in and support uh, those groups in countries. While this is important and very important, at the time at which uh, the support is being given, it is not in, a, in and of itself sufficient. More has to be done to provide support to, uh, to the groups in their day-to-day -day activities. And, and the lack of this lack of support uh, to MSM-related issues and the meager funding afforded to MSM organization has in most instances on the continent set them up in situations where their intervention have been overshadowed, dismissed, and invisibilized. And this happened with a mainstream HIV and human rights organization. 
And uh, I, have put, I did include the example of Senegal, uh, for example, where the powerful mainstream HIV movement silenced and disappeared uh, the MSM movement in the country. Uh, a movement that was considered one of the pioneers and strongest on the, continent, on the continent in the first half of this decade. In order to effectively improve human rights situation and access to health-related services of men who have sex with men in Africa beyond press releases and action alerts, and I just want to emphasize on that point, uh, there are a number of issues that have, been, that have to be reflected on and acted upon as a matter of urgency. There is a need to rethink funding strategies and make funding available to grassroots MSM and LGBT organizations. Implementing or willing to implement MSM or LGBT programs at local levels. There is a need to listen because uh, from my experience, uh, people do not often listen to African activists. There is a, there is a tendency to teach African activists. There is no people are not ready to listen to what they have to say when they are the people who live at country level and who experience uh, these issues at that level. So there is a need to listen uh, and give consideration to the views of the communities and their leaders rather than thinking and, active, uh, and acting for them as it is con currently the case. And, and the relationship between mainstream organizations, uh, international organizations, and intergovernmental organizations, and LGBT stroke MSM organizations has to be redefined. And African MSM, and that, that will be for the, uh, the conclusion, African MSM uh, HIV and rights related issues cannot be effectively addressed without the guidance and the lead of African MSM activists themselves. On this premise, I also want to finish my speech um, almost by saying that uh, the only way to radically change the current situation will be by supporting, encouraging, and strengthening the movement in order to foster more result, self-reliance, independence, and effectiveness. Thank you.